Universe fans out there, have you picked up the He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, a character guide and world compendium book yet? It also features She-Ra, Princess of Power. First major shout out to Michael. Michael, thank you for getting me this book. This is incredible. The book itself is published by Dark Horse Comics, working with Mattel. The image on the back shows Castle Grayskull with He-Man and the Masters of the Universe fighting against Skeletor. This is also an updated version of what Castle Grayskull looks like with the new classics toy line. I obviously can't show everything in this book, but I can give a short overview as to the contents. Funny enough, the introduction is given by Scrollos, Keeper of the Scrolls. He was a character that was much more well known in the UK version of the Masters of the Universe comic magazine. Which that in itself gives the reader an idea that just about every Masters of the Universe canon is involved in this book. This publication is divided into seven main sections. The first, and by far the largest out of them, is the characters. There's an entry on just about every major and minor character involved in the entire Masters of the Universe franchise. Characters like Anti-He-Man, who I didn't think would even get an entry, or like the character of Angia, who showed up briefly in the Masters of the Universe newspaper strip. The next section is Beast Creatures and Monsters, and being that this is a fantasy setting, you know that there's a lot of entries. I kind of like Cow's entry, he's had several different colors, and they made sure to mention that in this. They even mentioned the Brazilian mini-comics where he had a different shade in that. The next section is Factions, Organizations, Species, and Races. It never even occurred to me to put together all of the different organizations, but if you look at them separately, you realize there are a lot. Afterwards, we have Artifacts, Devices, and Weapons, and this is a world of both technology and magic, so there's a lot of those too. One of the shorter sequences is on spells and magic, although I've been reading on some forums that is some people's favorite section. We then have the different locations, and this is involving everything in the Masters universe and Princess of Power universes, plus the new adventures of He-Man as well, and all of the different variations in the different universes they've been told in. The final section is Vehicles and Transportation, which the original Masters universe toy line really depended on all the different vehicles that have been introduced in it. But there are many, many vehicles that were never made into toys, but they were introduced in either the storybooks, the comic books, or the magazines, or any other interpretation. This book is very thorough. Just about every miscellaneous and major character you can imagine that showed up in Masters of the Universe is in this book. Of course, there are a couple exceptions here and there, but for the most part, this does cover most of the territory. And I love the idea that it shows all of the different interpretations of some of the main characters. Obviously, He-Man, Skeletor, and She-Ra probably have the largest entries, but then again, they probably are the most iconic of characters that's involved. I haven't gone through this completely by a long shot. I've mostly just been reading a few entries here and there and just reading new things that I didn't know about. I think even the most thorough of He-Man Masters Universe fan out there probably is surprised by some of the facts that's included. Or maybe some fans out there will be reminded about some facts here and there that they may have forgotten about. But anyways, they did such a great job of making this book. If you're interested in getting it yourself, it's available on Amazon.com or you can go to DarkHorse.com and you can get it from there. But that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching me in this video. If you haven't done it yet, check out my Patreon site, check out my social media sites, check out my websites and everything else out there. Peace, love, and I'll stand. I'll see you guys later. I had no idea that there was a character called Songster that only showed up in the Masters of the Universe Power Tour back in 1987. Huh.